What's up, Tim? How are you doing? Good evening. How you doing? Good, good. You've been the talk of the town lately with your decision to uh, switch federations. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's been interesting. We're uh, we're very excited, and um, yeah, we got a lot of things working coming into into town. Absolutely. Usually with interviews, I'll I'll talk about the weather. I'll. I'll talk about the state of the times but with you. I just jumped right into it. Yeah. Uh, there's been so much going on, you know, with, uh, you know, I mean, you, you can't ignore the fact, you know, there have been, you know, front page stories and there's documentaries being talked about. There's a lot of stuff in the works. And so, you know, I, I feel like it's, it's almost impossible to ignore that. Yeah, it's. It's almost a time to where we need that. We need those options, and I, I think we're a good option. You know, we want to bring back entertainment to the athletes. Um, you know, start having a good time again and enjoying being on stage. And you're also a competitor, right? I'm sorry. You've also been a competitor before, right? I, I have, yeah. Um, so I'm sorry. I'm trying to turn my sound up. Uh, yeah, so I competed for about eight years uh, offhand. I think I did about maybe six shows, one of which was Miami Nationals. Um, it, was, it was a good time. It was a great experience. And then you also you also had your hand at promoting as well? I have. Um, I've been working alongside Rich for eight to ten years now. Um, Rich pretty much became like a father figure to me. Uh, we're, we're pretty close, me and his son. Um, and I just kind of grew up through the ranks, through his shows, just kind of learn how to, how things work, you know, listen to the, the athletes and kind of, you know, make things happen behind stage. Absolutely. You know, and speaking of Rich, Rich Siegelman, who is now the chairman of America for the uh, IFB Physique America, his departure was completely unexpected, from what I understand. Nobody, uh, nobody thought he was on. Nobody thought that he would. You know, he was the last person. They yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it definitely was. Um, you know, there was there were some talks about it. You know, him and I talked about it for a little bit, and um, we just thought that this was a better option because, um, like, you know, it just kind of circles back to just. The entertainment for the athletes and you know rich rich is always known for having such a good show because of the athletes feeling so comfortable and having so much fun on stage and you know we want to continue that and broaden that even more because i think entertainment like you had said earlier is so important because again you know the bodybuilding show is fun for the what about the families and the friends and the co-workers that maybe don't understand so much about like the mandatory poses, maybe understand so much. So give them something to kind of like give them a, a little bit of a wow factor, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Get more people in front of those boots or senders. Yeah, so when I first started, you know, of course, and a lot, a lot like the other athletes, you know, you want to bring your mom and dad. You know, I started in my early 20s. Um, or, you know, your significant others, even your kids. And, you know, they usually come a couple times and they're like, eh. This, this really isn't for me. And, you know, we don't want that. You know, we want it to be fun. It's something to be proud of, to be up on stage. You know, a lot of these athletes go through a tremendous amount of situations to, you know, overcoming a lot of things to get on that stage. And it's definitely something to be recognized. Absolutely. And I think the, something also to, to uh, think about for folks is that, you know, the IB Physique America is not going to be the NPC in a year or two or three. I mean, it's going to take time. But it's yeah. to know that there's other op options. Yeah, there's there's definitely more options, um, even more than just just the IFBB Elite. But um, you know, the IFBB Elite's been around for a very long time and was even recognized in the Pan Am Olympics in Peru back in 2019. So it's a very big deal, um, and we're just happy to bring it over here to the states and make ourselves known. And what's interesting, too, is, is that, you know, I continue to cover NPC. I would say, like, 99% of what I cover is NPC. I'm covering the athletes, not the shows. Yeah. yeah. To me, it's there because, you know, I, I'm concerned with the competitors, not so much with the federation, not so much with the promoters, you know. And, and again, with a lot of the uh, NPC shows, 
really MPC News Online gets all access to everywhere. And if you're not with them, if you have like strength addicts or a MD or whatever, um, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of in the back seat there. You know what I mean? You've got to do, I've done interviews under a stairwell before. I mean, that's all, I, that's the only place that I had press access to be at, you know? So it's not really quite a level playing field like any other sport, you know? Yeah. Um, so I rem I actually remember when you came to one of Rich's shows uh, a few years ago and there definitely needs to be, you know, more, in, you know, I, I like I appreciated what you did because, you know, you were back and forth through, you know, all the athletes, no matter what the category was. And you were just interested on how they got here, um, more or less of just their status, you know, and that's something to be said. And I think that's something that needs to be carried on for sure. Definitely. Definitely. And, and I, I think also, um, I'm not going to say his name, but, you know, a, a, a very powerful promoter that I was very close to, uh, actually a, a zone chairman uh, in this zone, um, went on to uh, Brent Jones' Kentucky Muscle uh, Facebook group and uh, told a competitor from here in Kentucky, told her that uh, the MPC has a rich history of allowing competitors to compete in multiple federations without any repercussions. I don't know if I believe that or not, but it's great that he said that in 2023 because that should give a green light to any competitor, you know, especially like in your neck of the woods there in the uh, DMV, uh, Maryland, Northern Virginia, do a Physique America show and do an NPC show, right? Because there's no repercussions. Yeah, absolutely. And I would love to see, you know, more athletes give, you know, jump out there and test the waters. And, you know, there, we all have a little something to, to give to these athletes. And, you know, if, if one athlete, if, if they don't get what they want from one uh, federation, they can always try another one. And, you know, if it fits, it fits. Absolutely. And, and, and I think that, like, something that is really important to take home also, that, you know, whether you're an IFBB Physique America Pro or IFBB Elite Pro or you're an IFBB Pro League Pro, you're still an IFBB Pro, right? At the end of the day, you're an IFBB Pro. 100%. Yes. Yes, 100%. And so... So there is not like a real IFBB and a fake IFBB. There's just two IFBBs. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm a little ignorant to um, the athlete's name, but there was one that actually stepped on the Olympia stage this Michael. year that's from IFBB Elite, you know, and, you know, that's something to be said right there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then, of course, you know, uh, having Wayne, uh, who I just spoke to this week, I've never spoken to him before, ever. Wayne's a great guy amazing person yeah and i just remember like all the olympia videos from way back when and when he was running the olympia a very profitable you know operation and uh i i didn't have a lot of time I only had like, like 15 minutes we ended up talking like almost 45 but he is just like such a wealth of knowledge and again uh you know contest promoting you know that's a that's a time honored skill and he's got it so what's to say you know now that he's got his health and he's got the time and the energy to do it i mean you know, sky's the limit. Yeah. Uh, energy is an understatement. Uh, like you said, you know, you get on the phone with him and you're just kind of wowed. Um, the ideas that he has moving forward, uh, it's going to be exciting next couple years. You know, like you said, it's not going to exactly take off in, in the first year. It's going to take a couple of years for people to realize, you know, there's other uh, options. But what he has in mind and, and what a lot of us promoters have in mind, you know, it's, it's going to be fun. And, you know, it's going to, you know, my vision myself is I want to bring back the love like, you know, they did back in the eighties, you know, we need that again, you know, and I feel like that, that's kind of lost. No, I agree. And, and, and the reason I keep saying that, you know, um, this is going to take time to build is because, you know, let's say next year, you know, it starts out small, which I think it will. It should start small, you know, and yeah. you figure out the right crew of people and you expand gradually instead of like an overnight success, right? But, you know, it, when it starts out small, I could see people seeing, like saying, see, I told you so, they're not going to be as big as us, but that was never the plan to be as big as you right away, right? Because it's going to take time. And so I think people are just so scared to, to, to you know, look at something different, look at it at a different option. I don't know what they're so scared of. I don't know who they're so scared of or why. Yeah, if you, um, from a perspective over here in the States, it's, you know, all we've ever known is just one federation. It's the only way you're going to, you know, become anybody in the bodybuilding um, career. But, you know, you go into any other state or country, I'm sorry, and, you know, it's 
it's well known, you know, fit, there's several different federations, you know, um, and it's going to take time and we're going to have to listen to athletes and, you know, really understand what they're, they're looking for. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Right. And in your neck of the woods, I mean, like Northern Virginia, DC, Maryland, that is such a rich area for, for, for fitness. Uh, there's yeah, it really is. So many great shows. And um, and again, but but I got to be honest with you, Rich Siegelman in that neck of the woods. I mean, that's the man right there. So you know, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't underestimate his abilities. In fact, he's going to have shows this year. Brent's doing them next year. He's doing them this year. Yeah. So our first show um, would be June twenty fourth, and it's going to be at the uh, Hilton DoubleTree at BWI. Uh, following that is going to be my show in July fifteenth. Um, and that is going to be in the Shaftman's Performance Hall in Roanoke. And then we're back at the, um, the Hilton BWI on October 28th. So we're back to back. And then following up, we have the big uh, event in Las Vegas, which is August 3rd through the 6th. I'm actually going to try to go to that. I'm, I'm really going to try. And then there's talk about reviving the uh, Santana Classic, right? Yeah, so that's going to be my first show. That's now. going to be um, wow. Yes, yeah, so that's amazing. So that one's yeah. So I talked Jane Tana. Uh, we're we're in talk still, um, kind of seeing how her shows ran um, and how we want to go moving forward. So that's going to be the one uh, Roanoke, July fifteenth, and then hopefully by next year we'll have you know maybe another one pop up. That's, that's wild. I had no idea that that was your show. I mean that that's a heck of a great you know that's a great and that's a. You know, that name right there, I mean, forget about, I mean, nothing, nothing against the DMV, but, but I mean, yeah. that's a worldwide name, you know what I mean? Like yeah. every name. So, I mean, that, that's, that's huge. Yeah. It was, um, when we talked about it, my eyes just kind of widened. I was like, well, I guess I'm in it now. <laughs> sure, for sure. And and the thing is, I mean, you've got a full-time job I saw it on your Facebook, I was on Facebook, so I can get an award. I mean, you're busy, but, but this is what you love as well. I love and, and you you know, when you love something, you, you make time for it, right? Yeah, absolutely. And my world just kind of seems more calm with more chaos around. So, um, yeah, you know, I have um, other other things going on with school and work and a and bunch of crazy stuff, but I make it happen. You know, like I said, I, I stay calm with more chaos. Definitely. Do you, do you think that, um, uh, you know, you have no way of knowing, but do, do you think that in the future – Maybe some of our friends uh, in the NPC will maybe be a little bit less. Um, I don't know how to say this. Brent got written off. I don't know if you got written off. I don't know if Rich did, but I got written off immediately. Now I, now, I had not been covering shows for a couple of years, so I was kind of on the on the shelf, if you will. But I still had a lot of contacts. But now that I started covering you guys, it's like I don't know. It's it's just weird. It's just it's just really bizarre. And, and again, again, I don't know if it's if it's a fear thing or what, but. Do you see that changing at any point in time? Um, you know, nothing's really been said or or done, but the silence is definitely deafening. Um, but I I think as we go on, uh, some there's going to be some that are going to you know be more interested in you know maybe starting their own shows or you know whatever the case may be. I've had a few athletes reach out to me asking when you know the competitions are going to be what it's going to be like. So there's definitely interest by several athletes, and it's only going to take a matter of time. Absolutely, and, and I also think though uh, to to cast it even wider now too. Then athletes also, I think some expediters, maybe, maybe some judges, people that have been kind of, I don't want to curse, but maybe play around with a little bit, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah fairly rosters or, you know, now, you know, one day they're judging a big show, the next day they're judging a show of 20 people, what gives kind of thing. I mean, I can see people like that saying, why am I sitting here like patience on a monument? I've been loyal all along and I'm getting screwed around with. Like maybe I'll try these guys, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's understandable. Um, and it, it kind of hurts as well because, you know, a lot of these uh, men and women, you know, like I said, I've been around, you know, almost 10 years, rich even longer. And these people are like family to us, you know, so we would love to see them, you know, come over, help us out, work with us, you know, it, it, it is what it is, you know, hopefully, hopefully they see it that way. 
Absolutely. And, you know, the other thing, just in kind of closing too, but I mean, in talking to Wayne, one of the things that he said that I've really liked is something that the uh, folks on the other side have been talking about for a long time. I haven't actually put it together, but it's getting mainstream sponsors. So I think that's so important to really grow. In like you'd have the local Ford dealership, you know, Coca-Cola. I mean, some not, not, not just protein powder and, and whey. And I mean, and I think that's going to really grow the show too. Yeah. His, his visions are a lot broader than, um, you know, just like you said, the supplement companies and, you know, certain clothing companies, it's, it's a lot more. And we want eyes on, you know, the entire, uh, spectrum of, of spectators, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So again, guys, you know, I, I Tim, I really appreciate you taking the time. I know your schedule is pretty, pretty crazy as is mine, but again, it, it first of all, well, kudos to you, uh, for becoming the Virginia and having a show in 2023. I mean, you made an announcement like a week or two ago, and here you are getting ready for a show in a few months. So that's huge. So I, I can't imagine how stressed out you must be, but you look very calm. So you're a good actor. <laughs> I, I get all my help from Rich. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. And, uh, uh, you know, when we get closer to your show, maybe we'll do another one of these or something, and uh, maybe I'll head out over there. I don't know if you have contest coverage anymore, but this is just so, like, I got to say, like, I'll give you the final word, but this is just so exciting. Again, not looking to bash anybody, not looking to trash any federations. There's no time for that. There's no interest in doing that. But just the idea of this newness. And, again, it, it's new – on one hand, on another hand, like you said, Federation's been around a long time. And uh, to go way back when Ben Weeder passed away, he wanted Raphael to run the show. Yeah. So historically, uh, this Federation that you're with is actually older than the other. So yes, it's not exactly. a new. Yeah. So, so um, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes. And, uh, you know, we would love to see you come down and, and take a look and even – do some interviews at the show. You, you know, you're more than welcome to. Awesome. Uh, and we're looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, thank you so very much uh, for Tim Estelle, Chairman of Virginia for the IFB Physique America. This is Christian Duke, StrengthAddicts.com. Thanks, Tim.